Welcome back to the lab. As always, this is Kondrick, and this is my new temporary house at the Spawn Village. I uh, kind of was on a roll last time I was working, so I just sped through it and built this little hut here. Um, I'm really not very good at making things look decent, so I'm kind of proud of it. But I did this, I uh, whale got back on after I was done recording and uh, helped me finish planting the farm here. Um, I also went over uh, to that pit that Shirtugal's been doing all his mining in and here's what we've got over there. Um, I, like I was telling Whale at, during the last recording session, I wanted to make a little house or a little hut or something that gives us access to the mine while keeping villagers from falling down a giant hole. So here is Shirtugal Ores Incorporated. And inside the door there is a fence gate that the villagers won't be able to get through that will also close automatically. And I made stairs all the way down to Shirtugal's little um, work area which is down this way. So this is the cave that Shirtugal has been working in. Um, I'm not sure how much he streamed but as you can see he hasn't really done that much. But now there's a quick easy way for him to get back up to the main part of the village and oh yes it also I also added a little bit of an extra staircase over here um, that just comes over to this other ravine that I pointed out in the first um, first episode nothing that fancy just just an easier path up and down but uh, what I think I'm gonna do for this episode it's probably gonna be a fairly short one I uh, I want to do some more work on this village. Probably just tear some, tear down some more of the buildings, set up some new ones, and uh, absolutely going to get rid of these um, vanilla farms because I think we've got more than enough farm type resources over here in the farm that I built. Um, and this guy's actually not stand. Oh, maybe he is standing there. Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? Maybe he's not there. Maybe he's inside somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. Um, it's about time to start letting the villagers out anyway. But, um, what I want to do is I need to set up a, uh, a an animal area too, a farm for the animals. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set some stuff up off camera just because it'd be a little boring to watch. I might actually, you know what, I haven't sped anything up in a while. I'll go ahead and I'll keep it recording and then I'll, uh, I'll speed it up. So uh, yeah, enjoy.
All right, well, there goes that. Um, that is in place. I actually might change this a little. But for now, we have some holding pens that'll work for uh, for whatever animals we gather. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I guess I can uh, just double check the lighting and maybe let some of these villagers out. Let's see. Are these guys actually roam? Yeah. Okay, they're out, which means somewhere... Um, I don't know where exactly, but somewhere they're managing to squeeze out. So I might as well just let them roam. Hopefully this doesn't backfire on us. You are free to wander. Go run free and get out of my way because this hut is in the way. So, alright, the thing with this village is that the, the level of the buildings is completely off. I'm not sure why it rendered the, or why it generated the way it did, but um, most of these buildings are one block too high. Uh, the ground was a little bit high as well, but and they're all right up on the path. They should really be at least one or two blocks away from the path so that there's room for stairs. Um, now that these villagers are free to wander wherever they want, hopefully we'll see we'll see some uh, some activity from them. But yeah, the stairs into the houses should not come out on the path. It should be right up against the path or even a little ways away from it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, probably tear down a lot of the rest of these buildings and uh, put in some new ones and uh, see you when it's done. All right, well, it's actually about a day later now, um, but I cleared almost all of the vanilla buildings out and I built a handful of other things. Uh, this will be a building eventually most likely. I built this little building over here which uh, Next Gen Now has already moved into. Uh, the only building I didn't build other than the two vanilla ones that are left is this one over here which uh, Breakneck Sandwich Hunter Horgan uh, built over here. I just finished building this little um, apiarist hut over here, or apiarist shop over here. Um, not really much to, to say about it, but uh, sure seems to like it. So, And of course, Bethos Bees. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, while I was working on that and working on clearing other buildings uh, next gen was on and uh, collected some some animals for me so now we have the beginnings of a farm and this building and the one right there are the only ones I have left to tear down the villagers are roaming free and uh, shirt sure is possibly recording for an episode right now. Um, he hasn't been able to get on our vent server, so I can't really talk to him voice right now, but uh, you've already seen this, I believe. Let's see what else. Um, okay, so I built that. I showed you that. That has been built. I believe I showed you that. This is the, uh, the mine entrance that I built for sure. Yeah, I'm almost positive I showed you that. And this building right here I also uh, put up actually yesterday, um, which his shirt has already taken over as his, uh, his spawn base, uh, including the basement that I just dug out a few minutes ago for him. And it looks like he's already <laughs> doing some excavation. 
But, uh, yeah, so I know it's going to be a very short episode. Um, I actually was going to cut the episode last night, but then when I went to uh, do the editing and stuff, after speeding everything up, it ended up being like 10 minutes long. So, yeah, I know this isn't going to make it much longer than that, but really, until I start actually making some, some more progress on putting buildings up, there's not much more for me to, to show. Uh, probably in the next few days, I'll be working with Next Gen on, uh, on working on another hub. Um, we're going to have to talk to Shirtugal about maybe uh, just once spawning in a creative notebook so we can set up a digger age with crystals and stuff so that we can have portals and whatever else. And I don't think I showed this, but this is at our uh, manual tree farm that I created. Basically, you just plant rows of oak saplings, and the dirt up above them will keep them from growing into those super tall trees. So you just go down the line, harvest, and then replant the saplings. But, uh, yeah, I know this is a very, very short episode, but I'm going to call it here. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I can cover beforehand? I really wanted to add more uh, more content to this, but I really don't have anything to, to talk about yet. So, I'm going to call it an episode, and uh hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.